Welcome to the World Tarot. This is the series Divine Feminine Diaries for the 29th of May 2022. Holy Spirit, show me the Divine Feminines who need to hear these messages today. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody's uh, sitting and waiting and working on something, waiting for something to grow, for something to pay off. Four of Cups. Somebody could feel a bit depressed, a bit like things are, are stagnant in their life. What else? What else is new for Divine Feminine today? 93. Something about the year 1993. Somebody could be born in 93 or you remember something from 93. I don't know. You're sitting there and you're pondering. You're thinking about the past possibly. Also the 9th of March. That's Pisces season or the 3rd of September could be significant. So we've got Virgo and Pisces. Those are the opposites. Hmm. And also now we've got fire signs. The, these represent the sign of Sagittarius. Both of these cards represent Sagittarius. It could mean that you're traveling somewhere or you're thinking about traveling somewhere or somebody's traveling to you. So what's going on here? Oh my God, look at that. 67 or 76. There you go. So more numbers here. Six of swords and seven of swords. There's somebody who lives at a distance from you. Somebody who could have been sneaky. I don't know what's with the Seven of Swords. Or somebody could be sneaking up on you. Because it's like you're just sitting there, you know, being philosophical. Thinking about uh, maybe your work. Thinking about your past. And then all of a sudden somebody sneaks up on you. Somebody who could live at a distance from you. So somebody could be coming towards you. Who lives at a distance. Ten of Swords reversed. Somebody who doesn't want uh, a cycle to end here. Could be... A fire sign or an air sign. Two of Wands. This is definitely somebody who's watching you. Maybe they're pocket watching you or watching you work or watching you wait for something. So you're waiting and watching and somebody's waiting and watching too. Somebody who broke your heart. Somebody who walked away from you. They broke your heart and walking walked away from you but they're still watching you. King of Hearts. There you go. So this could be somebody who is secretly in love with you. Who is secretly in love with you? King of Pentacles. So it could be a water sign too or an earth sign. Or it could be somebody who considers themselves to be your divine masculine. Maybe you do. Uh, this person wants commitment now. Yeah, look at that. Queen of Hearts. So this person does want commitment and they do have love for you. Why is this person sneaking up on you? Seven of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Uh-oh. I think this guy has two. Okay, they're trying to sneak around with you because they're married to somebody else. Uh, yeah, this person's either... Either married to you and cheating on somebody else when you're not looking... Or they're married to somebody else, but they want to be with you. They want to cheat with you, basically, on their current partner. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is definitely somebody who has two people. Two of swords reversed. Five of cups. I think you already know this. You already know what's the deal here. Maybe this person wants to apologize for cheating or something like that. Is this guy going to let go of his third party situation here? Is this guy going to let go of his third party situation? Yes, he is. Okay, the fool. Ace of Pentacles because he wants stability with you, okay? He could be he could be this King of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups. That's the current relationship. And you're his Queen of Pentacles. So even though he's in a relationship with this person... He's thinking about you because he knows you're his counterpart, right? That's why you're the same suit. Because usually I, I would get a couple as the same suit. But they are together here, aren't they? But they're not the same suit. And the guy is looking at you. And you're looking away. So both this guy and this girl are looking at you. But you're looking away. So yeah, this is somebody who's been watching you. You're focused on something else here. You could be focused on your money, on your health, on other things, on your family. And this person's focused on you. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. And they feel like you're their wish fulfillment. The number 79 could be significant too. So we had 93, 67 and 79. Yes, so these numbers are significant somehow. We've got two fools here. 
So this person definitely wants to free themselves from the current relationship and they want to be with you. You see the Three of Cups flipped out in reverse. So he wants to leave the other third party behind. Five of Wands. There is conflict though. There's competition here. Five of Swords. And it could be that somebody doesn't want to let go of this guy. This woman might not want to let go of him. You know, because even though he's completely turned away. You see, you can see his profile here. He's completely turned away from her. She's still looking at him and at you. So this woman still wants him even though he doesn't want her. So this woman's going to fight him. Ten of Pentacles. Yes, he's going to fight him because he has a lot of money. That's what I'm getting. Ten of Pentacles clarifying the King of Pentacles here. It shows me that this guy does have a lot of money. They have abundance and that's why this woman wants to be with him. Yes, that's true. Two yeses. King of Swords and Knight of Swords. So that's why this woman wants to stay with him. This is a similar story to what I was picking up on yesterday, isn't it? Okay, or the other day, whatever. Four of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Four of Swords. Yes, yeah, so um, this woman's still holding on to the man, but he's trying to block her off. He's, he's trying to walk away from her. So it's a struggle, though. Two of Cups. Yeah, they're definitely in a relationship. I think they exchanged vows because that's what the Two of Cups makes me think. So I think they're actually married. But this guy feels like you're the... Yes, they're married. They're definitely married. So, and uh, she doesn't want to allow him to divorce Five of Swords. She's fighting him, yeah. She's fighting him in court possibly as we speak. They could be in court already about this uh, situation. Three of Pentacles. It's about some kind of money, some kind of fortune, some kind of, uh, they want to, they're deciding how they're going to separate their goods. They're in an institution, right? Because Three of Pentacles can represent a courthouse too. So I think they're going to the whole courthouse. Yeah, they're in the middle of proceedings here, of divorce proceedings. And it might be very difficult. She might be making it really hard to separate. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. Eight of Swords. Yeah, she, um... She doesn't want to let him go. Absolutely because of the money. Or, yeah, she's trying to um, strong arm him. Knight of Cups. Six of Wands. Okay, this, this woman could be trying to... Um, maybe they have a child, possibly. The Knight of Cups could be her child. She might be using the child against this man. If not, she's trying to um, love bomb him. He's, she's trying to apologize for something she's trying to be sweet two of pentacles but she's trying to be sweet to him because she's afraid she's gonna lose money that's the thing six of cups yeah she should she could be trying to sweet talk him into staying with her or she could be using the children if they have any children she could be using the past you know their memories from the past she could be talking about their nice memories from the past right trying to still convince him to stay Four of Wands. Yeah, she really wants stability with this man. Six of Wands. Possibly because she has a certain status being with him. It gives her a certain status. But uh, whatever kind of affection she's showing this man is just fake. That's what I'm getting. She doesn't really love him. She just loves his money. That's what I'm... Four of Cups. Rejection. Yeah, she's not really interested in him. That's what I'm getting. Eight of Pentacles. She, he's a hard worker, possibly. Yes, it's true. He's a hard worker and he makes a lot of money, too. And she'll, she's in love with his money. Okay, so it's, it's clear now. Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. Also, she, she's anxious, possibly, because she doesn't want... Again, there's an image here to uphold with the Ten of Cups. And she's anxious about losing this uh, this image. It's a very superficial kind of relationship, even though they're married and they possibly even have children. Yes, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands can be somebody who's very superficial, who wants to be in the public eye, who wants to, to get a lot of attention. So she gets a lot of attention by being with this guy. Okay, whatever. Fine. Are they going to be able to separate anytime soon? King of Wands. Look, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Six of Cups. I think he's going to move away from her and possibly go towards his past, which could be you. Yeah, they're going to separate. 
So how long might this take? Let's see. Can we get a approximate time? How long might this take until they separate? Today, <laughs> Ace of Swords. That's one day. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> very quickly, it's gonna happen very quickly. Like it's um, Eight of Wands. Very very quickly, Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands. It's like maybe tomorrow, or between now and eight weeks maximum. Knight of Wands. Okay, that's what I'm getting. That this is gonna happen very soon. The, uh, like I said, they could be going through a trial already, and uh, the decision is gonna be made soon. The final decision, you know. Yeah, he's about to get single, so it's it's very close to the end here. And then this guy is gonna come towards you with some kind of love offer here. So it's your choice, of course, if you want to take them back. But uh, yeah, this person's about to divorce. Like, they're almost there. So if you're interested, then you're interested. If not, then you're going to reject them. And it is what it is, right? The end. There you go. Anything else you need to know? Is there anything else? The fool. I think they're going to come towards you very soon. They're going to uh, pop up on you or you're going to meet them somewhere. Queen of Swords. Where are you going to meet this person? Queen of Cups. The Fool again. The Fool and the Queen of Cups is like a child and a mother. With the mother and the child here, I'm thinking somebody's childhood home or uh, somebody's uh, hometown or something like that. If uh, they are going to visit their hometown, if this person was away somewhere and they're visiting their hometown and you're still there, they're going to meet you there. Or if you're visiting your hometown, that's uh, where you're going to meet. Anything else? Three of Cups reversed. Maybe you don't want to meet this person. You don't want this reunion. Eight of Swords. You're going to feel like, okay, this person might want to pop up on you unexpectedly. And you're going to feel trapped. You're going to feel like they set a trap for you to, to meet you somewhere. Is this person trying to, to trick you into meeting them somewhere? Yes, they are. So they're just going to appear somewhere. When you go somewhere. Okay, four of pentacles. Like I said, possibly when you go home to your childhood home or something like that. To your hometown. Nine of Swords. But this is going to cause you anxiety. You're not going to be happy to see this person. Four of Cups. You're going to reject this person. Maybe you're going to even ignore this person. Okay. They want to apologize. Okay. So they're going to come with the cup. And you might reject the cup. They're coming in with an apology. And you're not uh, willing to receive the apology. Six of Cups. Yeah, this is definitely somebody from your past. You could have known this person long ago. They could be from your hometown. You know, maybe you've known them in childhood because Six of Cups is my childhood memories card. Nine of Pentacles. I think you're going to want to stay single. You might even argue with this person. Okay, so what's the outcome of this conversation here? Seven of Pentacles. You're going to uh, use like a wait and see approach. Like you're going to be patient. You're going to talk to this person. But you want to see that this person has actually changed. 97 could be significant. 36 and 97 could be significant. Maybe you're 36 or this person is. Something about the year 1997 could be significant too. Three of Swords, Heartbreak. Okay, this person hurt you in the past. They broke your heart. So you're very guarded towards them. But can you trust them now? Can you trust them now? Two of Wands reversed. Six of Swords. I think you need to walk away from this person. Five of Swords reversed. Okay, they want to bury the hatchet. They don't want to be mean anymore. Here with the Five of Swords reversed. Okay, King of Cups. They do love you, okay? They want to put in an effort towards you now. Look, Queen of Cups, King of Cups. Seven of Cups. They've been fantasizing about this, blah, 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 you know. They're planning something. They're planning to pop up on you somewhere. 
four of wands two of pentacles like i said maybe when you go home like your your hometown or something or when they come to your hometown or whatever you know eight of cups yeah somebody has to leave to go somewhere in order to meet somebody's gonna be traveling either they travel to you or you travel to them traveling home yeah that's what i'm getting somebody's going to their to their hometown original hometown and that's where they're gonna have this reunion yeah two of cups reunion okay there you go so they're Ten of Pentacles. You can trust this person if you want to trust this person. If you want to take them back, you can. Okay? That's what I'm getting. Victory. So this is going to be a victory with the King of Wands here. He came out as King of Wands before, right? Or did... Was it? I don't know. Whatever. Yes. So there you go. You've got a choice here. If you want to take them back, you take them back. If you don't, you don't. And uh, But you will be faced with this choice soon. Either they're, like I said, either they're traveling to you or you're going to travel somewhere near them. And that's when they're going to pop up on you. They're planning it already. Yep. Bye.